All right. So for this one, I said it has sine of u equals negative 4 over 5. And then I have a constraint of pi is less than u, which is less than 3 halves, or 3 pi halves. So what I need to do to look at this, Elizabeth, is I notice if I wanted to evaluate, um, I'm sorry, what they're asking me to evaluate for is to find the sine of 2u. So I need to finally evaluate for the sine of 2u. Well, the formula for the sine of 2u, which is on page 2a7, we know is going to be 2 sine of u cosine of u. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what is the sine of u and what's the cosine of u. Well, it tells me what the sine of u is, but now I need to figure out what the cosine of u is. So remember on the unit circle, we know the sine represented the y coordinate on a point on the unit circle, and cosine represented an x coordinate. But right now, we don't have that on the unit circle, right? So we need to make sure we create a triangle. And we need to make sure we create a triangle that's within our constraint. So let's go and plot up our constraint here. So it says our angle, u, has to be between pi and 3 pi over 2. So that means my angle has to be in the third quadrant. So if my angle's in the third quadrant, it's going to look something like this, where here's my angle u, here's my right angle, and it says sine is negative 4, here's 5. This is a Pythagorean triple, so therefore I know this value has to be 3, but since my triangle's in the third quadrant, it's going to be a negative 3. Does that kind of make sense, what I did? Or you could use the Pythagorean theorem and figure it out. Because remember, OK. So now, all I'm simply doing is now I can evaluate for sine and cosine. Now you're just plugging it into the formula. 2, so the sine is negative 4 over 5. The cosine is going to be negative 3 over 5. And there you go. Done. That's it.